discuss the binomial theorem in Pascal's triangle. This is Pascal's triangle. Uh, it helps you expand binomials. And as you can see over here, it has all the uh, binomials raised to each power. So you have a plus b to the zero power. You just multiply each term by one and so on down the line. And there's a clear pattern to this. If you ever need to make another line, say you have a binomial raised to the six power, you bookend each end with ones. And then you look to the line above it, seeing that 1 plus 5 is 6. You put the 6 here. 5 times 10 plus 10 is 15. Put the 15 here, and so on. You'll end up with 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1 if you have a binomial that you want to raise to the 6th power. So let's try an example of expanding binomials. This is x minus 3 cubed. Since the exponent is 3, we look to this line in Pascal's triangle, which is 1, 3, 3, and 1, which are the numbers that we will be multiplying our terms by. Since we are multiplying it to the third power, we start our first term raised to the third power and our second term raised to the zero power. So we're multiplying by 1. We have x cubed times 1. This cancels out and becomes 1. So our first term is x cubed. This is our next term. We know that it's going to be negative because the second power is negative, or the second term is negative and raised to an odd power. So we can put a negative sign right there. Uh, we're multiplying it by three, and our exponents are two and one in their decreasing and increasing uh, order. So we have we end up with three uh, x to the second power times negative three, which is negative nine x squared. Our next term, also multiplied by 3, is, so we have 3x times negative 3 to the second power, so that's negative 9, or positive 9, which will make it plus 27x. Next one will be negative, multiplied by 1. Uh, these both cancel out, they're 1s. This is negative 3 to the third power which is 20, negative 27, which makes this negative 27. And this is our entire expanded binomial right here. Let's try one with a little, um, bit, a little bit bigger. This is 3x minus 2 to the fifth power. So we can look up here. We see that we will be multiplying it by our terms by 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. So we have to start our first powers our first terms at 5 and 0 powers because our exponent is 5, so we'll be decreasing from 5 and increasing from 0 as we go on. So our first term is 3x to the fifth power, which is 243x to the fifth power. Both of these are 1s, they cancel out. So we start with 243x to the fifth. This will be, our next term will be negative. Uh, and it is 3x to the fourth power, power times 5 times negative 2, which becomes 810x to the fourth power. Our next one is positive. It's 3x cubed times 10, which is, uh, which is 270 times 4. So that makes it 180, or 1080, I'm sorry, x cubed. We have our next term multiplied by 10, 3x squared times 10, which is uh, 90, times negative 2 to the third power, which is negative 8. Oh, this is going to be a negative. It gives us 720x squared. We have 5 times 3x to the first power times negative 2 to the fourth power, which gives us positive 240x. And our final terms are 3x to the zero power 
times 1. Those are both 1s, they cancel out. Negative 2 to the 5th power is negative 32. We don't have to change it because it's multiplied by two 1s. Negative 32. And this is your final expanded binom binomial.